what is up this is Krishna and welcome back to my channel so i recently made a video of my room a room tour if you guys haven't checked it out you can check it out here or here somewhere and this video i'll be talking about my monthly expenses how much i spend each month and what are they so let's go Okay, so let's start off with the most important expenditure in a student's life that is rent. So as you guys know, I have a private bedroom and the rent I pay is $375 per month. So this particular apartment, it has like three bedrooms and the rent is total $1,400 but we are actually four people sharing it. A friend of mine, he lives down in the living area. So the rent for him is a bit less around $320 and so the rest three of us pay around $375. So my rent for the room is total $375 per month. Now let's talk about electricity. So our electricity provider is Duke Electricity and I think it's the most common electricity provider here, most popular electricity provider here in Bloomington, Indiana. And my electricity bill comes around $25 per month. The total for this house hovers around, you know, like 100, 120 each month. It's not fixed, it can like vary greatly because I remember during the winters, we had our electricity bill at around I think $180, $200. So yeah, electricity bill can vary, but $25 to $30 is like a pretty good average. Okay, then comes your water bill. Now water bill, I have seen some places they do have it, some places they don't. Our place, it has like a $10, $12 water bill every month. So it's like very negligible. Whatever it is, if you do have water bill, it's very negligible. So like it doesn't like, you know, burn a hole in your pocket or something. So the water bill for me around per month is around like roughly three to $5, which is like pretty negligible. Now comes another important aspect that is groceries. Now people spend a lot on groceries. I also spend a lot, I think around 70 to $80 per month. Groceries include your, I'm a non-vegetarian, so mostly chicken and then other meats and uh, vegetables and uh, like you know rice and dal and everything else that constitutes groceries and it's i spend generally around 70 like 80 dollars a month i mostly buy my groceries from kroger's there there's a kroger like right nearby it's like a five minutes walk from my house and there is also a bunch of indian places like apna bazaar and india garden where you can find like I think every kind of Indian spices and Indian household items, whatever you need, you can find them. And the prices are also also very reasonable. I will be making a separate video on the grocery prices here in Bloomington, Indiana for the future students, for the upcoming students, so that it like, you know, helps you to find the right stuff and where to get it. Then let's talk about phone bill. Now there are a lot of carriers present here in Bloomington. You can find all the famous ones that is AT&T and T-Mobile. I personally use Google Fee because I found it the best and my friends were also creating a group for Google Fee. So I was like, yeah, I'll just go in with you guys. And Google Fee costs me around $25 per month. That is unlimited free internet and unlimited free calls. And I think there's a cap on international calls, but I don't use international calls much so yeah but it's like 25 dollars a month for my life and now let's talk about wi-fi so the most famous provider or internet provider here in bloomington indiana is xfinity i think xfinity is famous all across the us so yeah the line we have taken it costs us around 90 dollars per month it is i think it's um 100 mbps somewhere near 100 mbps it is 90 dollars and six of us share it so it's like 15 dollars per month and then let's talk about miscellaneous and miscellaneous is something like your costs can hover like there, there's no range for miscellaneous items so miscellaneous for me is basically like you know going out ordering food going to some restaurant and getting some food or maybe alcohol on the weekends or like other stuff like i'm buying some shoes or some toys or something yeah I, i'm a, like i spend a lot on miscellaneous yeah like i like to collect stuff and i also like to spend on like you know cute see stuff toys and shoes and all that kind of stuff so yeah miscellaneous for me ranges around to like you know 90 hundred dollars probably per month so yeah miscellaneous costs are completely dependent on you if you don't order takeout at all so it's like you you might just spend five ten dollars in miscellaneous items you might not 
spend it all in miscellaneous items it completely depends upon you and your living lifestyle so yeah these are basically my expenses every month they sum up to around 613 dollars i would say like i spend around that much sometimes i would like i would i would keep an upper range of around 650 dollars just to like you know just to give a range just to give an idea but yeah 650 dollars is what i spend every month and also a point to note is that bloomington is a very very affordable city it's a very affordable college town okay and uh, i have friends in like new york and in um, california and they spend like a lot because the rent over there the living expenses are, are are huge like much much higher than what it is in bloomington so bloomington is a very affordable college town and if you can get some kind of part-time job which most people get because part-time jobs are available in plenty here at campus if you can get some kind of part-time on-campus job then you should be able to cover up your expenses pretty pretty easily so yeah that's that so yeah that's all about my monthly expenses and hope you guys like this video and i per personally made this video because i felt the people who are coming in the new upcoming students who are coming to iu bloomington i think it will help them it will help them to get an idea of what costs are and what expenses are so yeah if you like this video give it a big thumbs up hit the subscribe like a snare and and i'll see you guys in the next one till then peace out